In the 7th century, Europe was a mosaic of various tribes and kingdoms, each with its distinct culture, language, and traditions. The continent was in a state of flux, with migrations and invasions reshaping its demographic landscape. Yet despite the significant movement of people, the genetic structure of local populations remained surprisingly stable. The 7th century was part of the broader migration period, a time characterized by the movement of various groups across Europe. This period saw the decline of the Roman Empire and the rise of new powers. Among these migrating groups were the Slavs, the Lombards, the Avars, and the Saxons, each leaving their mark on the regions they traversed. The Slavs. Moving from the east, the Slavs spread into the Balkans, Central Europe, and Eastern Europe. They established numerous settlements and integrated with the local populations, contributing to the cultural and genetic landscape of regions like modern-day Poland, Czech Republic, and the Balkans. The Lombards. Originating from Scandinavia, the Lombards migrated southwards and eventually settled in Italy, where they founded the Lombard Kingdom. Their arrival brought a new wave of Germanic influence into the Italian peninsula. The Avars, a nomadic people of Eurasian origin, the Avars established a cagonate in Central Europe. Their presence influenced the local cultures, particularly in areas that are now Hungary and the surrounding regions. The Saxons, Germanic tribes who moved into Britain, the Saxons played a significant role in shaping early medieval England. Their settlements and kingdoms laid the groundwork for what would become Anglo-Saxon England. By DNA haplogroups passed down the paternal line provide a window into the ancient movements and genetic makeup of populations. In the 7th century, the dominant Y haplogroups in European regions were as follows. R1b, predominantly found in Western Europe, particularly among the Celtic and Germanic populations. This haplogroup was common in regions like modern-day France, Spain, and the British Isles. E1, this haplogroup was prevalent in Scandinavia and parts of Northern Europe. It is associated with the Norse and Germanic tribes, including the Lombards before their migration to Italy. R1a, common in Eastern Europe and parts of Central Europe, this haplogroup is linked to the Slavic populations and the ancient Proto-Indo-European speakers. E1b1b, found in the Balkans and parts of Southern Europe, this haplogroup reflects ancient migrations from the Near East and North Africa. Despite the significant movement of peoples during the 7th century, the genetic impact of these migrations on local populations was relatively modest. While new haplogroups were introduced and some regions saw a greater genetic diversity, the core genetic structure of local populations remained largely intact. For instance, in Britain, the arrival of the Saxons introduced new Y haplogroups, such as I1 and R1b U106. However, the pre-existing Celtic populations with haplogroups like R1b L21 continued to dominate the genetic landscape. Similarly, in Italy, the Lombards contributed to the genetic pool, but the predominant haplogroups remained those associated with earlier Roman and pre-Roman populations, such as J2 and E1b1b. The 7th century was a dynamic period of migration and cultural transformation in Europe. Ethnic groups like the Slavs, Lombards, Avars, and Saxons reshaped the demographic and cultural map of the continent. However, their genetic impact, while present, was not overwhelming. The dominant Y haplogroups in various European regions persisted, with the new arrivals contributing to a richer, more diverse genetic tapestry rather than supplanting the existing populations. This interplay of continuity and change is a testament to the complex history of human migration and genetic inheritance.